back, everybody. In the debate over Park versus MCAS, there was a big development today. The recommendation came from State Education Commissioner Mitchell Chester from Massachusetts to create an updated version of MCAS, and he is not going to support the embattled Park test. Now, on Tuesday night, we heard from a proponent of Park. Tonight, we continue the debate with Barbara Mataloni, who is the president of the state's teachers' union. Thanks for coming in tonight, Barbara. So, My pleasure. What do you think about the commissioner's recommendation? Well, on the one hand, it's an incredible victory for those of us who are opposed to park uh, because the commissioner has been promoting park for years now uh, on the other hand um, we better be really careful and keep our eyes on the ball because uh, this is MCAS 2.0 and I just read that the commissioner said it might include 70 80 even 90 percent of park questions so it's a bit of a shell game it's a bit of smoke and mirrors uh, and really what as much of it's a victory for saying uh, we're not going to use the word park they're still using the words high stakes testing. They're still talking about testing our children uh, and using that as an accountability measure for teachers and schools in ways that are really punitive because they're high stakes. So we want to push back on the high stakes. Actually, we don't want MCAS or PARC. We want a three year moratorium on high stakes testing. There are some teachers, though, and even parents in the state who want some sort of standardized testing. In, in China, for instance, there is a strict regimen of testing, and they perform consistently the best, best in math, reading, and science. Shouldn't we have some sort of standardized testing? So they have standardized testing and they are taught to take the test and surprise, they continually do really well on the test. That isn't the point of public education. The point of education, uh, public education is to develop the whole child. It's to engage children in the world in a variety of mediums, in a variety of different ways, to ask questions, to be curious, to develop capacity to engage in democracy. Testing doesn't measure any of that. So the teachers union is actually endorsing a bill uh, before the state house which would have a three-year moratorium on all testing to on, figure out what to do on instead? all high stakes use of testing. So the graduation requirement, teacher evaluation, school and district accountability. We could give the test but we're not going to use it for high stakes. We're going to step back from the high stakes and we're going to answer questions like what is the purpose of public education? But wouldn't you say when MCAS first was rolled out, there was massive pushback? But in the end, people agree it has successfully shown that how Massachusetts students have performed as opposed I, I to the rest of the nation? I would say people don't necessarily agree with that. There was massive pushback and a hammer came down from DESE and refu threatened principals with their license if they signed uh, diplomas of students who had not taken the test. Uh, people who know that high stakes testing is bad for children have been saying that for years, but that crowd is growing. Uh, parents understand what it's doing to their children. Educators understand what it's doing to the classroom. I think we're ready for a major opt out movement and I think we're ready for a moratorium. Well, ba Barbara Mataloni, thank you very much uh, from the Massachusetts Teachers Association. The State Board of Education, by the way, votes next Tuesday. Thank you again for joining us. Thank and, you, Barbara. Uh, we're going to go to Eric now with weather.